Hi, in this video we're going to talk about methods in Carol. So what is a method? Well, a method is a way to teach Carol a new word. And why do we use methods? Well, methods allow us to break our program down into smaller parts and then really make the program easier to understand. So this is the format for a general Carol method. Private void my method open parentheses close parentheses open curly brace the code for the method and then close curly brace. It's the same format we use for turn right. So here we have a method called build pyramid. And the key point here is that naming is crucial. Here from the name build pyramid, it's clear what the method does. So there's two parts to making a method. One part is defining the method and the other part is calling a method. Defining a method is actually teaching Carol the new word saying, hey, Carol, you know, when you want to turn right, the instructions for that are to turn left three times. That's defining a method. Calling a method is actually getting Carol to do the command. It's actually commanding Carol, okay, Carol, now turn right. Another way to think about it is that defining a method is actually writing out the instructions for this new action, and calling a method is causing that action to happen. So a few important points when naming your methods. Names should start with a letter, it can't have any spaces. Every new word in the name starts with an uppercase letter, and the name should really describe what this function does. And the name should start with an action verb and sound like a command. So let's look at some good and bad names for methods. Build tower, that looks good. Spin twice, that looks good. Build tower, well, that one should have a capital T in the second word for tower. Five moves, that's not good. It should start with a letter, not a number. Tower with a lowercase t, that's not really an action or command. Blah blah, well that's not descriptive, we have no idea what that method is doing. So let's say we want to write a method to have Carol turn around. This right here is actually defining turn around, this is teaching Carol that new word. And this would be how you call turn around, you say turn around open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. That's actually giving the command. So let's go into our code editor and write a method. Okay, so I have a class here called Turnaround Carol, and what we want to do is we want to have Carol move and then turn around. So what we'll do first, we'll say move, and then we'll actually call the method, we'll say turnaround. So now let's run that. Okay, um, now we're getting an error, and the error is because turnaround isn't defined. We haven't taught Carol how to turn around yet. So let's do that. Private void turnaround open close parentheses enter open curly bracket enter and so now to turn around Carol should turn left twice. So say turn left turn left. Now let's run that and see what happens. And so here you can see we defined a method called turnaround and when we run it, when we call turnaround, it's actually a shortcut for turning left twice. So let's reset that and use the step tool to figure that out. So first Carol moves, and then we call turnaround, and turnaround is really a shortcut for what? Turning left, and then turning left again. Now it's your turn to write some more methods.